Welcome to another episode of the 808 Podcast, powered by 808podcast.com slash summit. The rules are simple. Rule number one, six questions, eight minutes, and eight seconds, because 808 looks like Bob. Rule number two, our tagline is a value bomb and a smirk. And finally, rule number three, it's my podcast. I can do whatever I want because I'm Bob Clark, damn it. And today, one of the few people, Justin, you get to be a two-timer. Justin yeah. Womack, how you doing? Doing awesome, Bob. Thank you for having me on a second time. What an honor. Yeah, it is. That's a very small list. Just, just like, you know, I think there's like three other people, if that. Ooh, very, I'm going to call very, you Justin Two-Time now. That's your new nickname. I'll take it. Two-Time. Yeah, Justin Two-Time. Don't, don't call me a two-timer, but call me no. Two-Time. Justin Two-Time. There we go. Justin, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Question number one. What do you do? Why do I care? Well, I run a company called JMac Media, and I help business owners get their message to the right markets and do it in a way that's uh, different than everybody else. So I like to say that um, what used to work in marketing is no longer what's working today. And uh, what we want to do is get your authentic self to your audience and communicate in a different way. We want to be different than the competition. Love it. Question number two, what do your clients say about you to make you unique? Uh, my clients say that I work very hard. That's always a good one. Um, and my clients uh, say that I'm more responsive than uh, most people that they work with. So I give out my cell phone number, I, uh, especially to my clients, especially, not to everybody. Um, and I, I respond. And, and so I, I think uh, people are surprised. Sometimes they work with like web developers that I've heard, like ignore them for a week or two weeks and they give a timetable and they just don't fulfill on it. Right. Bonus question for you, Justin. What is your cell phone number? Oh, that's a tough question. I can't answer that one. That, that's right. I figured I'd just throw that at you just because it amuses me there. So <laughs> question number three, what do people your industry do that drive you crazy? I, I think uh, what's driving me crazy right now is people are still doing marketing like it's 2014 for a, a lot of people out there. So they're doing like the the old school, like just, I here's my landing page. Here's my offer. The, it's just really, really... Um, the, the same, the same as, it's, as it always has been and the, and the copy that they're using is like what was working back then. Uh, but we've moved into an era now where things have to be more personalized and things need to be more um, authentic. And that's, that's the, the word that I use a lot is authentic. Yeah, so. I completely agree with the authenticness, which is why I play a character on this podcast. There we go. Question number four, Justin, outside your company, who are the humans who had the most impact on it? They'll be honored to be on my podcast. That's a good question. Um, I think a lot of those humans you've already had on the show, like humans like Casey Everhart. Yep. Um, I'm going to try to connect you with uh, Matt Browning. He'd be a great guest for you. He's a good, uh, he runs NLP workshops and business workshops. Um, he's a great, uh, great guy. Great. Um, he'd be a, a great guest. He's got a good audience. And how many people I have to give you? Five? How, how many people have I what? How many people do I need to give you? Five? Oh, no, you just give me whatever you want oh, to give me. Well, I can what connect you, you, you with my co-host, you know, my co-host, Andre Sturgeon. He's over in the, in the Netherlands. But if you can work out the time, um, you can have him on the show. Oh. So he's a, he's a good one to have. He's, uh, he, wor he just got a, a job. I think he's working for Merck right now over in, uh, in the Netherlands. And he's making good money. And he's doing marketing campaigns for them. And he's got a very – he's very creative. Um, you know, his brain's not all there. But, you know, that's, that's just him. I'll make sure I tell that you said that there. So question number five, Justin, drop the value bomb. Well, today I'm going to talk about podcasting because I host the podcast Marketing Geeks. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out now. Uh, but Marketing Geeks has really changed the way I do business because um, and now podcasting has become a huge part of what I do in business and I'm helping other business owners to develop these podcasts. Uh, podcasting is the new media that's working in, in 2019. And I, and I think like the podcasting industry is, is like YouTube was in 2006. So this is the beginning, not the end. Um, they, the monetization on podcasts really didn't roll out to the general public until about two years ago where they really uh, refined it and maximized it. And I think this is the golden era of podcasting. It's mm -hmm. not only is it a great medium to spread your message out there, but it's a great medium to connect with people. I know that Bob has built up his network very, very big just from the show. It's a great medium to learn from the experts that you bring on your show. You actually get to learn from them while you're asking them questions and it just spreads your name out there. And it like, it's like uh, in 2016, let's say writing a book was the thing you had to do. You had to have an Amazon or, you know, an Amazon bestseller. I think having a podcast right now is the thing that you need to do. And it's a great resume builder or career builder. So when you're introduced on the stage, you're not just 
you or business owner, you're a podcast host and a business owner. And if you have a book, you're an author too. Uh, so I just see it as this medium that's exploding and I love it. So um, yeah. I, I think if I, if I were going to give somebody a piece of advice uh, that was starting out a new business, like having a podcast would be among the top things to do. I, I totally agree with you. And actually, f- uh, full disclaimer, you're actually going to be talking more about that during the 808 Summit that we're talking about later. That's you right. Know? Yeah, I'm going to be a special guest. Uh, not only am I a two-time podcast guest on the 808 Podcast, but I'm going to be on the 808 Summit talking the about podcast. The first ever 808 Summit. The first ever. And, and I have some great nuggets of wisdom to share with you. Yes, you do there. Perfect. Completely agree. So, Justin, question number six is the most important question of the podcast. Why am I your favorite client? Because I've hired you. That's a great question. Uh, well, the answer is simple. It's because none of my other clients do as many pod- I mean, I was going to say a daily podcast, but sometimes you're putting out more than one a day, or at least you work yep. for a while. So you're even more than a daily. I don't know anyone else that is doing more than one podcast a day or even doing, you know, even my clients, none of them doing one podcast a day. So you're my favorite because you're the hustler of the group, at least in the, at least in the podcasting realm, you are the hustler. So that's why you're my favorite client, Bob. Well, that is a wonderful thing. This is actually episode 196. We're almost to 200. Yeah, no, you pass. I mean, I, I started well before you and you already passed me on my podcast. So yeah, absolutely there. And actually interesting thing kind of follow up with that is um, one of the other speakers for the summit, his name is Jeff Miller and he's going to be talking about Facebook ads and he has a podcast himself as well. And when we talked, he was at episode 76 and I was at, at episode 176. So just kind of a d- difference there. And we actually did the math. He actually has more content than I do because his are longer form. But he said that 176 just sounds so much more impressive than myself. Yeah. He probably started five years ago too. And <laughs> yeah, you started it like longer months than I ago. Did. Yeah. <laughs> he does like one a week, that part there. So sweet. Justin, we got yeah. two minutes left. I'm going to talk about the summit for a little bit. Yeah, let's talk about the summit. So basically, I found, basically, uh, from podcast guests, I found 20 really amazing business owners who want to talk about ways to build your business, basically save time, make more money in your business. Or as uh, Ann Comfrey says, get laid, get paid, and live forever. Yeah. You know, that part there. So, and so basically got about tw- uh, a little over 20 speakers. We're all going to be going to deep dive into issues and really doing some, you know, how to do this. It isn't just, you know, hey, you should do a podcast. You and I really talk about strategies to monetize. And even yeah. different strategies, like you and I have different strategies on your pod, on podcasts. Yeah, I mean, there's really there's six strategies that I, I emphasize for uh, monetizing a podcast, and I, I go through those on the uh, in the interview. Uh, and I also talk about things like hosting and getting equipment, and you know what's the best host service to use, what um, what what microphone should I use, or what should I start with, where do I record my podcast? So there's there's a lot of that stuff that those questions I get, or how long should my podcast be? The most common question I get from anybody, I address all that uh, in the summit. Yeah, you addressed it all there. So love it there. Justin, you got 45 seconds left. Anything else you want? Oh, I should probably tell them the website. They should go to 808podcast.com slash summit. Yes, to go, to, go to 808podcast.com uh, slash summit. Uh, and then if you want to listen to uh, to my podcast, The Marketing Geeks, where I, uh, it's me and my co-host, Andro Sturgeon, uh, doing talking marketing. And now we're bringing on a lot of high-profile guests. I just had John Lee Dumas. Uh, I just interviewed him. That show will be dropping early next week. Um, you go to marketinggeekspodcast.com um, and you can uh, go there and it'll be links to all the different networks that you can download from. Absolutely. And also just, just let you know, we're filming this live on the 24th. So has the episode already dropped yet? On, oh, this is the 24th. Uh, yeah, we're live on the 24th. This is, today is the 24th, Justin. Is that, is, is Wednesday then, right? It's Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it should have dropped, uh, it should have dropped this week. Yeah, 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 it's live. Yeah. Yeah, it's live. There we go. Excellent. Justin, you pulled it off. Six questions, eight minutes and eight seconds because 808 looks like Bob. Say your website one more time for me. Uh, marketinggeekspodcast.com. We'll put it in the description so people can find you. Justin, thank you so much for being on. Tip of the hat to you. Thank you. You're welcome. For everyone else who's watching or listening, you'll be mine, Justin's hero. If you like, share, comment, subscribe, review, thumbs up, ring the bell, whatever the heck the social media network wants you to do, pet the cat. Because quite frankly, I know I'm too lazy to do an outro for every single social media network out there. Justin, you have a good one. You too. I Thank will. you. You're welcome.